Hello PBC, it's Wednesday, April 29th, and it's good to be with you again on these daily encouragement videos. Just a reminder, you'll be hearing soon about our restart procedures. Uh, be watching your, your uh, email, Facebook, these daily encouragement videos, and we'll try to get information to you on when and how and what's going to happen. So that's going to be exciting to be back together again. Today I want to go back to Romans and I would love to go through Romans, the end of Romans 7, um, but we aren't going to have time for that today. A lot of people find Romans 7, 14 through 25 kind of confusing. I find it kind of clarifying about what's going on uh, with our lives and sin. If you would like to read that, I encourage you. But today I want to start in Romans 8, verse 1, and think through three laws that are spoken of in both chapters 7 and 8. So, Romans 8, 1. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For those who believe in Jesus Christ... He is in us, and we are in him. And there is no condemnation for any sin in our lives. Verse 2. For the law of the Spirit of life, there's one law, the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. There's a second law. So the law of the Spirit of life has set us free from the law of sin and death, in Christ Jesus. Verse 3, for God has done what the law, and this is the law of Moses, God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do. The law of Moses depends on us fulfilling it, and we could not do it. But God has done it in Christ through the law of the Spirit of life, overcoming the law of sin and death. Let's go on in verse 3. By sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin, he condemns sin in the flesh, in order that the righteous requirement of the law of Moses might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. For the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God, for it does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. You, however believers, are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if in fact the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him, but if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. If the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Boy, I hope you can hear the great news in there. We are not in the flesh, even though we exist in the flesh. We live in the spirit. Colossians 3.3, 3, you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Galatians 2.20, I am crucified with Christ. It's no longer I who lives, it's Christ who lives in me. So I encourage us today to set our minds on the things of the Spirit and realize that we are under the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus, no longer obligated to sin, no longer even obligated to the law of Moses, because Christ fulfills it in us. Have a great day today, PVC.